and uh, after a week break, hopefully everyone will jump back in and join us too. Hopefully you didn't get too used to not having a Q&A that one Monday night. So tonight we're going to dive into mobile apps. Uh, it's one that we end up covering at least twice a year, if not more frequently, because folks love the topic and there are always new mobile apps that are coming out and people are trying or, or trying and deciding they don't like, but let's cover it all. So my goal tonight is to go through how some of the apps work if you've never used them, but also just a great number of apps to try. Every app that I'm gonna mention tonight is free. I don't really think that there should be any apps that you need to pay for. And to me, the minute that an app says like, oh, you're gonna need to pay for this, it's off. I'm not, I'm not leaving it on the phone. I am actually a little bit, um, you know, uh, it's hard to win my loyalty with an app. And if it kills my battery or it wants me to pay money or lots of other reasons, it'll go. It won't hang on my phone for very long if I'm not using it. Um, even my husband will end up grabbing my phone, installing something, and you can ask him. Uh, it may take a week and I'll usually uninstall it. Uh, it probably drives him crazy, but uh, that's just how it is. Like you gotta, you gotta be really uh, work through my defenses if it's gonna be an app that's gonna stay on the phone for a long time. So that's what I want to go through tonight: is how to really use those mobile apps to save you some money. Now, if you don't have a smartphone, just to cover that off the top, a few of these actually will work on the desktop, um, on iPads. So it doesn't have to be a smartphone. If you've got, uh, you know, even. Go music and you just have an old iPod, a lot of them will even work on that. So don't feel like you need to go buy a smartphone if you don't have one, because I will tell you outright, these are not going to save enough money to pay the smartphone's bill. Uh, they are going to help pay for your groceries though. Uh, just maybe not, you know, the crazy smartphone bill if you go with all the bells and whistles. So that's what I want to dive into. If you have other questions that are not mobile app, I am completely cool with that. So leave your questions in the comments and either I will see them or my husband will see them. And between the two of us, I will try my hardest to get you an answer. That's the joys of a Monday night Q and A. So we are going to dive in and, um, you know, go at them one at a time. Uh, but if you also have questions or you jump in late uh, after the fact, you can always rewind and watch this, guys. So if something goes and you miss it or, yeah, you know, you had to run into the other room for something, just hold tight. And when it's all done, it's saved and you can watch it a billion times <laughs> if you wanted to. It's there forever. So let's dive in. And um, thankfully, the last time we tried mobile apps, things were not so happy, but... Um, I can actually pull up the phone again. So uh, I'm gonna pull it up. We're gonna walk through app by app though, humorously, it's, um, there we go. Come on, it's kind of frozen. I spoke too soon, guys. Oh goodness, um, let me get it started back up. Uh, I should never speak too soon before we get going. Oh, you get lots of me. Um, come on, there we go. Yes, we should trust this computer. Um, okay. We're back at it. So mobile apps, I keep all of my apps in little pockets and I was just picking on my husband, but the funny one with the snake, he installed that. It's probably gonna last a couple more days and I'm gonna take it off. Um, but all of them are in their nice little pockets. That's just how I work. So in terms of mobile apps that I would highly recommend, let's just start here and get these off of the, the list. Uh, yes, you should be using the mobile app for the stores that you are shopping in. So obviously this list is different for every person and where you live. These are my main stores. And yes, Joanne Fabrics is on the list. I have a kiddo who loves to sew. So I am not about to touch Joanne's without their app. Um, because in case we, let's just, let's just go there. There's a ton of coupons in their app um, that are not on their website. Uh, just You're just going to be happy that you grabbed the app. So seriously, grab the app if you have a, a crafty person. So when I say any store that you shop in, it doesn't have to be a grocery store here, guys, but you should be using them. So one of the key things for all of these apps is the fact that Every store has given you the ability to scan by barcode to find whether or not there's offers. I love this feature for any store. So if you have not done this, um, I would recommend that you start 
but if you click on coupons, you can get here a few different ways depending on the app, but a lot of times it's in the top upper, what is that? right hand corner. Uh, you'll see the search little magnifying glass, but you see that barcode symbol. That's all I really have to hit. And if I hit the barcode and I scan the barcode on a product, I will end up with any coupons that correspond to that product. It will automatically load them as well for that particular store. Now, if there are no products, so if I scan the barcode and there are no products, it's gonna say that, so that's what the gray technically says, and you may not be able to read that on your little screen, but it says no coupons found, browse the related products. Um, not necessarily helpful, I wasn't aiming for Old Spice, I was aiming for degree, but just so you see that, it was an easy way to search. I know what I have. So that's Walgreens, I love it. Uh, versus sitting here, look, there's 343 coupons. Do you really wanna sit here and just keep on scrolling, because you're gonna be there for a while? Don't do that. Everyone has a barcode scanner, so to pop back here, CVS has a barcode scanner. Um, go Deals and Rewards whenever it decides to load. And then from Deals and Rewards, it's still, click the search bar, you can see that barcode up there. Scan the barcode and it's going to tell you, yes, see in CVS too guys note that it is not only searching the manufacturers, but it found a store coupon that corresponds with this deodorant. Now it's any deodorant, but that's the case for all of the products. If you scan something, by the way, with a store app and it does not find the coupon, I do not recommend that you manually load the coupon. So like had I scanned this and it didn't pull up deodorant, but then I searched and I found it, that deodorant coupon is not gonna come off at the register. What is coded for the coupon is going to pull up if I scan the barcode. So if I went in, you know, just a second ago, I used the Walgreens app to scan this. And if you scanned this with the Walgreens app and it didn't pull anything up, but you do see a Crest coupon in the app, you can load it, but it isn't going to come off at the register. It's pulling up what is coded for that coupon and it may be wrong, doesn't it? But you might as well just save yourself some frustration at the register. If the barcode scanner in the app doesn't pull up the product, don't try to use it at the register for that product. It isn't gonna come off. Um, so just save yourself some hassle and use the barcode scanner and then you know. Hold on, I gotta look at the phone, there we go. So, um, oh, that's what's cutting it off. That's when it locks. Come on, there we go. So, uh, long story short, almost every single store has a barcode scanner, Publix has a barcode scanner, Use it and save yourself some time in the store. Automatically loading your coupons. Um, Target as well. Oh, which Target? I don't, I'm looking right at it. Bullseye surprise, uh, confuses me. But even Target, if I come in here, I can search manually. If you want to use the barcode scanner for Target, the only way to get there, notice that it's nowhere on these pages that I'm clicking. The only way to get there, so if you go into circle and you're like, oh, I wanna scan the barcode, mm, you just gotta back up with Target and you have gotta do it from the home screen. There's your barcode scanner. Then I can scan and if it finds anything, it's gonna tell you. If not, um, then you go your happy way. Uh, and I don't know uh, from what I pulled whether anything does currently have a circle offer or not. So there we go, it doesn't even know the toothpaste. Let's not even try that, um, but you get the idea. So use your barcode scanners. Now that's just a general, we're hitting a bunch of apps with that one, but I do just as the blanket on this, if you're jumping in, what we're really covering here isn't necessarily Target specifically, it's really the fact that whatever store you're in, you should be using these store apps because you're missing out on easy, easy ways to save. Guys, you didn't even have to think about it. You just scan the barcodes before you checked out um, and you're gonna save money. So for Target specifically, assign this to a kid. And the minute something goes in the buggy, tell them, hey, I want you to just sit there and scan everything that we put in the buggy so that you don't miss any circle offers that may or may not be out there for the products that you're using. Also, if you're in the store using this, since I have Target up, a fourth option is gonna show up on the home screen uh, between weekly ad and between circle offers that you see right there, there'll actually be a fourth option that says circle offers near you. 
and the app supposedly knows where you are in the store and will show you circle offers that correspond to the section of the store that you're in. It's not incredibly helpful because if you're standing in the middle of personal care, there's a lot uh, and it's a little overwhelming, but it does exist just so you kind of know that you have that fourth option that will pop in and actually geolocate you in the store um, for that particular store. Kind of fun, but um, a little frustrating too because uh, it's a little overwhelming. Okay, so we hit all uh, stores as a whole. Obviously, some store apps are better than others. I do not recommend going in Target without Target Circle. I actually did a standalone video on how to use Target Circle that went up, uh, I guess, uh, towards the end of last week. So if you didn't catch that video, you could pop back and watch it. It's on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, but that is just the how to bit by bit scan the product, use your barcode at the register, instantly save. You should be doing this. Uh, it's pretty sweet. So store apps, we're going to move on, trying to hit them all. And let me actually take some questions really quick um, in terms of what everybody else is asking on other things. Um, if you've got apps that you love, Stephen's asking, um, or Stephen has an app called the Fluzz app. I've never, never heard of that one, Stephen, either, uh, but I can look into it. I know I've had a lot of people asking recently about um, other types of uh various apps that are popping in. One thing I will tell you, if you stumble upon a brand new um, cashback app or couponing app, read reviews and also look at how long the app has been in the app store. Does the app uh, owner have other apps today? Update it frequently because the problem with cashback apps uh, and couponing apps for that matter, but cashback apps specifically, is a lot of them are going to ask for some pretty specific information like credit card numbers. And you don't want to go there unless it is a very trustworthy source. Um, so in particular, these apps are asking you to plug in your credit card numbers. And then when you shop, they're going to give you cash back when you use the card. Super easy. Sounds great. But you just gave a ton of personal information to a company that you really knew nothing about. Like if I came and knocked on your front door and said, hey, if you give me your credit card information, I'll give you 20 bucks, you probably would say no to that. Uh, and so with these apps that are honestly popping up a lot, uh, it's okay to not be an early adopter, really, uh, because it's a huge risk that you're taking in that. There's a ton of great apps and a ton of cash back and ways to save money without needing to be an early adopter and putting yourself out on the forefront of just having your identity stolen, having a ton of money taken from your credit, um, just don't go there. Uh, and think about what that would be like in person. Would I actually do this? If this person was in front of me asking the same information, you probably wouldn't. Um, okay, so Paige says, do I know how Wawa Rewards works? I can't get my app to work. Um, so Paige, that's not one that I use um, because we don't have any near us. Um, but I can play around with it and see if I can figure out what the issue is. I know um, sometimes the best thing to do is to reach out directly to the app developer, and you can even do that through reviews. So you can leave them a bad review, and the developer will see it. A lot of developers have triggers that as soon as they're left a one-star review, they see that trigger, and then they'll pop in and they'll comment on it. So that could be an option, too, if it's really, really not working. But I can play with it tonight, Paige, and see what I can figure out for you as well. Wendy, a question regarding Publix. I have a rain check uh, and also coupons for the rain check item. Publix will honor the manufacturer's coupon even though it has expired. Yes, that is Publix's coupon policy. So if I head in, uh, Ragu is buy one, get one, and I grab, um, I'll turn my phone off there for a second, and I grab this, or I wanna grab this, but it's out, get a rain check. As long as my manufacturer's coupon was good the day the rain check was written, then they will take the coupon and the rain check until the rain check expires. Now, if you forget to use the rain check and it expires, then I can't use it at all. Um, but I've really got potentially 30 more days to use that manufacturer's coupon. That is a Publix only perk, by the way. So if you don't shop in Publix, no one else really follows um, that super helpful way of handling coupons with rain checks. Um, there are some stores, however, that rain checks don't expire, like CVS, so in that situation, the rain check's never going to expire. Just hold on to it until you get another coupon. Um, but Publix is giving you a little bit more time. 
Carrie asks, when's the best time to buy swimsuits? And is it in September? It is in September, Carrie, in terms of getting them on clearance. We are already seeing sales on them. So um, for me, I'm, we are, I'm a Land's End person when it comes to swimsuits because they last a really long time. Um, and that one is just waiting for a great coupon code. Like through tonight, Land's End is offering 40% off any purchase and free shipping on the purchase. That's a good time to grab swimsuits. We'll also see them run 50% off swim. It's just when they throw in that free shipping on top of it. That's when you want to jump. And it depends on the brand that you've, you're have you happy with. Um, for us with five kiddos, sometimes number five gets just cheapo clearance swimsuit. But number one and number two, they get more expensive swimsuits because they are going to get passed down. And I would rather the swimsuit last through multiple kids. Um, it ends up being a money saver for me in the long run. Uh, what do you think about fetch? I loaded it before but took it off because I found the camera to be a little fussy sometimes and a little annoying. Is it any better? So Diana, I've never had problems with fetch and the camera not accepting um, a picture that I've sent it. Um, so the one thing I will tell you with uploading a receipt, and I have a Walgreens receipt here that I can send them, is that fetch uh, does show you kind of the green or the red in the background of the camera. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and um, I will. Oh. Oh, come on. Where do we want to go? Come on. Sorry. Fetch is giving me all sorts of little notices. Um, there we go. So I will share my screen with you. Um, Again, maybe. It's just going to make me do this every time. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Every time the phone closes, it wants me to reopen it. And then you get two of me. Oh, technology and I, we have a hard time sometimes. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's show you some fetch. Maybe. Maybe. It's just going to spin. Um, okay, maybe I won't show you fetch. That was the goal, but we're going to give up here. Um, how about this? We've got another option. Will this pull up anything? Ah. Uh, okay. Yay! Sorry, guys. Sorry to just sit here and be like, oh. Yeah, it's just not happy. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Jenny's iPhone. No. Goodness. It's driving me crazy. Okay. Well, we'll just jump back and not show you anything. Um, we can do it this way. <laughs> I should never have said a word about being able to make this work tonight. Okay. So on the phone with Fetch, if you are lining up a receipt inside Fetch, you can see the red around the edges and that's when it's telling you that it's not happy with where the receipt is. Uh, and when the receipt is good, that red will turn green. So when you've got it lined up perfectly, obviously I can't hold this up and do that. But when I have it lined up perfectly, um, the red, you can kind of tell there that it, it is kind of turned green a little bit and because it can recognize that the receipt's in there. It doesn't mean that it's perfectly lined up. Um, but it will usually still let you take the picture. Now it may tell you the picture's blurry and to retake it, but you can also ignore that if you want. Like if you can look at that and you're, you see, oh no, this picture looks fine, this picture is not blurry, um, then just go ahead and move on and send them the picture. It might end up saying, um, that, you know, oh, we couldn't read everything and, and it'll ask you to manually enter something um, and say, hey, what was this product? And you just answer and you tell, you fill that in and tell them what um, the missing product was manually in their system. Um, so that hopefully would help you, but I've not had any issues with Fetch lately. It has been working just fine. Um, I did have um, a saving star one actually that was really tricky lately, but not fetch. Um, so, um, oh, I don't know if that helps, but I would jump in, Diana, and try. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try. I'm trying one more thing. I don't want to give up on the phone quite yet um, to see if it will. But he's just not happy tonight. Um, oh well. So let's see. What are some others? 
Um, Honey app, Ricky is a cash back app that is the same. Honey is the one that has the extension that you can put on your bar. It really is just a third party tracker and it's giving you cash back on any purchases that you make. Honey is now owned by PayPal um, and is quite lucrative for them. Um, you should look into how much PayPal paid for Honey, but that is what that app is. Um, they're technically getting you some cash back, but they are making a ton of money off of um, that as well. Do Kroger's rain checks expire? And if so, when? Yes, they do. Most stores, it is 14 days. So it's pretty tight. They have one of the shortest um, rain check policies out there. Because honestly, if Kroger's going to do something coupon friendly, that would just be way crazy. They don't do anything uh, that is even remotely coupon friendly. Uh, and a long expiring rain check. <laughs> That wouldn't be it for them. Uh, Kroger also, in case you've never gotten a rain check there before, right now they're running a great mega event, but it's also a really bad time to learn this one. They do not do rain checks for um, products that are not in the weekly ad. It's very, very rare that you will be able to get them to write you a rain check. If It, it could be on the shelf. It could be a legit sale on the shelf if it isn't in the weekly ad. They will not write a rain check for it, which mega event items, you're talking about hundreds of items. They may advertise 50 of them. Mm -mm. So just be aware. It never hurts to ask, but be aware that they, it is a very high probability that they're going to say no to writing you a rain check for an unadvertised item. They're the only ones that do that too, by the way. Um, so what about Checkoff FD1? Checkoff FD1 is a great app. So let's go through all of the couponing apps. Um, that are out there. This is the best I can do right now. I'm still trying to get this to work, um, but I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere, uh, even as we go through it all, I'm trying hard to even mess around with various buttons that I have and um, things that I can do, but you're just gonna get me holding up a phone for you tonight. Um, so check out 51, Saving Star, Fetch. These are the main apps that I would highly recommend for couponing. Checkout 51 is great. One thing to know between Checkout 51 and Saving Star, they are in cahoots together. They're not owned by the same company, but they do share data. So there's a lot of times that the offers that we see between the two of those apps will be the same. Uh, we will see a limit five on the Checkout 51 because they do things like that. And Saving Star is going to be a limit of one. So more often than not, you're going to want to use Checkout 51 over Saving Star because you can buy more of the product than you can with Saving Star, but I cannot redeem both of them. So if I do see an offer that has a Checkout 51 offer and a Saving Star offer, I need to pick which app I'm going to redeem that offer in because the minute that I use the Checkout 51 offer, let's say, the Saving Star offer will go away. It won't let you redeem both. So pick one if you see an overlap between the two. Now there are moments that you may actually want to use the Saving Star instead of the Checkout 51. If you use a lot of paper coupons, uh, I can use a Saving Star offer with a paper coupon. And most of the time at Checkout 51, I can't. So for example, this week we could go to CVS and this is on the CVS list that's on Southern Savers. Uh, and I could grab some um, cereal. Um, it might be Walgreens now. I've been in drugstore mode all day today filming the uh, weekly videos for this week. But we can um, look at, uh, yeah, it is. Um, there's a lot of coupons there. Um, let's see, pull this up. So we've got the CVS list. We've got a ton of coupons for General Mills and Kellogg's and Post that are all $1.99 right now in CVS. Well, we have $1, we've got $1 off twos, $2 off fours, but we also have a Saving Star offer. So I could go in, I could buy this cereal for $1.99. I could use a $1 off two paper coupon, but I can also use a $1 off two Saving Star coupon. It's basically going to end up meaning that when you buy two boxes, you're saving a dollar off of each one of them, one with the paper coupon, one with the mobile app. So then I'm walking out the door with cereal for 99 cents a box using the Saving Star um, and the paper offer. I cannot do that with a Checkout 51. So just keep that in mind as you're pondering, you know, which mobile apps to use that we're following the rules with the mobile app because they'll end up rejecting them if they see that a coupon was used and it's stated to not use a coupon on it. 
Um, so that's a difference between Saving Star and Checkout 51. Now, one question with all of these, um, as we go through them, is how do you get your money back? So if you've never used any of them, uh, if I go in and I take, you know, buy the item in the store, I use a coupon in the store, I come home and I submit a picture of my receipt um, in the store, or sorry, a picture of my receipt with the, with the app, um, it's gonna get put, that money that you've just earned gets put into like a little bin um, with that app. It's like you have a little tiny account with them. And then when you have enough saved up, you can get it out through a PayPal deposit, through a gift card. You've got a lot of options. Um, so you can redeem that money automatically and after you've hit that threshold. So for most of these apps, it's 20 bucks. Once I have 20 bucks saved up, I can click the redeem button and I can get all of my money out of that app. Uh, and that's the case with um, a ton of apps that are out there. So not just store apps. This is also the way that some of the gas apps work. GetUpside, for example, is one of the ones that I have recommended. Um, I love GetUpside. I actually just grabbed some gas today. But you head in, you claim an offer down below, you take a picture of your gas receipt and you get cash back from that gas receipt. So it's the exact same situation. I just take a picture of the receipt and I upload it to the mobile app. Now this is one where I was telling you some of them do not require that you have a mobile app. Checkout 51 is one of those. Um, and with Checkout 51, if you don't have a mobile app, uh, and they've actually just brought in gas too, but if you don't have a mobile app, you can use Checkout 51 online. Uh, it all works directly from checkout51.com, and then you upload a picture file to their site, and you can get your cash back. So you don't have to use the mobile app, which is pretty sweet. They still have that same threshold, 20 bucks, and you can get your money back. Now, how you get it back? Most of the time, PayPal, some through Venmo, uh, and a lot of them offer gift cards. So instead of, it's up to you how you prefer. I usually take the PayPal option, just give me the cash and let me use it for more groceries and more gas and whatever else we needed. Um, but if that's not an option, then just take a gift card and something that you'll use. So for Fetch, Fetch only does gift cards. But the sweet thing about Fetch um, since we did mention that one just earlier, uh, is that you can earn a gift card at 3,000 points, which is crazy or easy to get, guys. Uh, if you haven't ever used Fetch before, uh, I'll actually stick my code in the comments so you can download the app. And then if you use N0REC uh, as your referral code, you'll get 2,000 points to start out with when you upload your very first receipt. You can upload up to 14 receipts a week with Fetch, uh, and you only need 3,000 points to get a $3 gift card. 1,000 points equals a dollar. Doesn't take you long when you get to start out with a 2,000 point bonus. So if you haven't downloaded Fetch, definitely enter somebody's referral code, because uh, there's no point in leaving 2,000 bonus points unclaimed uh, if you don't use one. So that's pretty sweet. But you only need 3,000 points to cash out. Everybody else is a $20 cash out and then you can get, get it and move on. So with Fetch, they offer Amazon gift cards. Just take the $3 Amazon gift card and enjoy a movie or whatever you decide to get with it or save it up for something else. Um, but that's pretty sweet that you don't have to wait a super long time with that particular app. Um, so hopefully we've, um, not being able to see them all, I know is not necessarily fun, um, but hopefully you get the gist. I've also done a lot of videos on these individual apps. So if you are curious as to how they work, you can walk through there. Um, Fetch, for example, we've got a lot of specific offers that'll be right there. If you buy that offer, you're going to get the points. So that's 2,000 points on Blue Moon Beer, uh, 600 points on Dressing. Keep in mind, 1,000 points equals a dollar. So some of these do equal cents, more like 50 cents back, 60 cents back. But they also add up. The other thing about Fetch in particular is that they have a ton of brands, 609 supposedly, that when you purchase the brand, I'm just trying to bring up an example, uh, like any of these guys, that you earn bonus points for having purchased them. Now it's not a ton, it's usually like a quarter maybe, uh, like 250 points because you purchased this, or uh, 150 points, so it's kind of tiny, but still you grab something uh, and you got an extra little kick for buying that product. So my point in telling you this, 
is just because you didn't see an offer for the specific item that you bought does not mean that you shouldn't submit your receipt, especially to fetch uh, and to similar apps like that. So it's not necessarily based on these specific items that you grabbed. There's bonus points. There's bonus points just for uploading a receipt sometime because of the way Fetch is working. So um, there are basically two different kinds of grocery apps. And Fetch is really a data mining app. So they're not only rewarding you for buying specific things, but they're also just rewarding you for giving them data. They're not linking it to this is what Jenny bought, um, but they're more linking it to this is what a female living in South Carolina, um, this is what she bought. And then they can use that data, they can sell that data, that's how they work. Um, so you're getting a perk, but they're getting data. And that's uh, that's up to you how comfortable you are with that, but that's really how they, that's the gist of how they work. Versus Checkout 51 or Ibotta for that matter, who are more focused specific items. Uh, and those items are based on what the brands are paying for. So all of these deals in Ibotta are brand supported offers. That's the best way to look at it. They're not because they're selling the data. Uh, it is because the brand has paid for the offer to be in the app. So I've got Ego, I've got Cottonelle, that's brand supported. They're the ones paying for the offer. There's definitely third party behind Ibotta as well and data sharing, but a bulk of Ibotta and Ibotta's earnings for you plus Ibotta's revenue for them is the fact that Kimberly Clark and Kellogg's are paying them to give you offers. So hopefully that helps to kind of understand a little bit behind these individual apps as well. Um, because you know it, it, that's always everyone's questions. It's like, what's the security here? Now, the ones that I'm mentioning tonight, again, they're big. They've been around for a very long time. They are not in any way going, going to um, be there as kind of a fly-by-night, gone-tomorrow type app. And that's why I'm telling you, don't be an early adopter. Definitely not on these apps that are getting personal information from you. It is okay to sit on the side and let your friends test them out if they want to and you jump on later when you see that, hey, that app has been around for a while now, they're gonna stick around uh, and that they are secure. So with Ibotta, they've been around for ages and they're the biggest player in the mobile app industry. So Ibotta probably takes a cake with over, uh, my mother could tell me, cause she's the one that has to go through them every day, but 600 plus offers is where I would stick them. Um, the second one from there, Checkout 51, Saving Star, kind of neck and neck because they share data. And Fetch, in terms of numbers of offers, is much smaller, but they're not offer supported. So, you know, that's not where their funding's coming from. So, hopefully, that helps as you try to figure out which apps you want to focus on. If you're brand new, trying to cover all of these mobile apps on one shopping trip is going to feel really overwhelming and kind of time consuming because you're going to get home, I'm going to need to scan pictures of my receipts. Some of them are going to want you to scan the barcodes of every single thing that you bought. It's going to feel a little annoying. So if you're brand new, I would actually recommend that you focus on one mobile app to start with. Get in the habit of it. Uh, make it part of your routine when you get home. And then kind of once you're into that habit, let's focus on two or three other apps. Um, check a uh, Fetch, for example, does not require barcodes, so Fetch might be an easy one to just scan your receipt, make that an, an easy one to always add. Um, Ibotta is actually paperless with some stores, so depending on where you shopped, that might make that an easy addition as well. Um, but if you're overwhelmed, just don't, don't feel like you need to tackle every single one of them all at the same time. Uh, it's just going to make you want to give up and we don't want you there. You know, you want to save some money. You don't want to give up and save nothing. Um, so just keep it small and you're going to be great. So Joy says, what about Kellogg's Family Rewards? So Joy, I will confess, I do not use their app. I always use their website, but it is totally something that you should be in the habit of doing every time that you purchase Kellogg's products, coming home and taking a picture of your receipt and uploading it either to their website or their mobile app. They even have a way that you can just text them the pictures. So if you don't want to use their mobile app, just send, send them a text of the pictures of your receipt. And they also have stores that are card based. So if I shop in Lowe's Foods um, and Food Lion, a few other stores in town, 
and I buy those items, I automatically get points for buying Cheez-Its or whatever it is that you grab that day. And if you aren't using Kellogg's Family Rewards, you should be uh, because those points are pretty sweet. You can redeem 850 points for $1 off coupons, dollar off any cereal, dollar off any Pop-Tarts, dollar off any Eggos. And 850 points actually doesn't take you that long to get because one box of cereal a lot of times is worth 150 to 200 points. Uh, and then they're always running bonuses. So you bought three boxes and you got a bonus on top of that. The other thing about Kellogg's is that they're always running bonus codes. So then I had to buy nothing and I just entered a code and got another 100 points. I think for me right now I have about 8,000 points in my Kellogg's account. So they are pretty easy to earn. And at 850 points a coupon, I could have a coupon every time I went, which is kind of nice. Um, so you can go that route online or with the app, but it is one that I would fully take advantage of in terms of the rewards programs that are out there. It doesn't have to be a mobile app on your phone though. And that's me, I told you in the beginning, I'm a little OCD with my apps. So if I find that an app isn't doesn't need to be there and I can use the website, that's where I tend to go versus putting something else on my phone. Um, is I bought a paperless with CVS or Walgreens? They are not um, with either store. Uh, however, Saving Star is paperless with CVS. Um, and I say with Walgreens. Let me double check on that. I haven't bought a ton in Walgreens lately that had I bought it. No, their upload receipt. Um, so if you're curious, you'll see it right at the top. I clicked on Walgreens and I just see a big green bar that says upload receipt versus if I come here and I click on Publix, it'll say your account, oh, come on, your account is linked. Um, so I don't need to upload a receipt with Publix. All I need to do is make sure that I've come in and I've clicked this free after rebate offer and I buy that minute rice. I've clicked it and I buy it and that plus sign changes to a check mark. I buy it, I'm going to get $1.88 back in my Ibotta account. Now, how this works in the store, because if you've never used it before in Publix, you're thinking, Publix doesn't have a card. What are you talking about? You are linking your phone number, really, that you're then going to enter at checkout in the keypad. That's what would activate your Publix digital coupons. You're going to link that phone number with Ibotta uh, as well. And so now when I enter my phone number at checkout, Publix is going to tell them what I bought and I'm done. I don't need to do any work. Now, some folks have had some issues with that. So if you do use a linked deal with our linked store and you don't get the money back that you should, you can always submit a help ticket through Ibotta. Woo. Um, so you go back, you go to account and you click on help in account. It's going to open like a big help window. It's working on it. It's a little slow right now. Um, there we go. So, and it, it'll kind of give you a search and then say, what are your problems? Um, so, and then you can tell them what your issues were and you can submit a ticket uh, if you've got issues. So as you scroll through help, um, let's see. And we go, let's go here. Um, offers and redeeming offers. It's just kind of being a little slow, but we can click on that. It'll walk you through what it means. If you don't like the article option, then you can submit a trouble ticket basically with them and they will give you the cash that you should have gotten. A lot of times if it's public, if it's a card or sorry, a direct linked store, they're just going to ask you to go ahead and submit a picture of the receipt that you should have used. Now, um, one thing as well, folks asked in the past, can I unlink a store? Yes. So inside your settings, when you're looking at your account, you'll see under your account linked accounts. And from linked accounts, you'll see who you've linked there and there's a button to unlink them. So if you are very frustrated and you don't feel like it's working, go back to being a paper person and just take pictures of your receipts. Um, so that's pretty sweet that they've done that. Like, well, we're not going to push ourselves on you anymore. Um, that you don't have to be stuck if you don't want to be stuck. So it's a quick gist there. Um, and then um, let's see. Uh, Paige says, do I know how the pep coin promo thing works? And is it like my Coke rewards? Uh, I think it's their attempt at a spinoff of Coke rewards page. It's not as good. Uh, and they're not coming out with 
as many offers as My Cook Rewards does, uh, which technically doesn't exist anymore, but still does. I don't really know what Coke's plan was on that, but they still give offers and freebies. Um, I'm not a Pepsi person. Never purchase it. So I haven't used it a ton. I just know that it's out there. It's just not... Um, I don't know. It's not as well thought out. And that's the case a lot of times when we see folks that are kind of copying other um, other plans is that the first person who's thought it out all the way has probably got the better option. Oh, and then folks were asking, what was that gas app again? Uh, Get Upside is um, the gas app that I was recommending. Um, and if you've never used that one as well, you get cash back by taking a picture of your receipt. Uh, and I have a code I can give you for that one if you'd like. Uh, I have to pull it up because I don't even know it. Um, now I feel like I should change this, guys. Um, but my get upside code is Jenny8792. I think it should follow the phone number. Um, I, I want it to be like the song. But Jenny8792, if you enter that when you download the get upside app, um, you will get 15 cents and a bonus. Um, the very first time that you redeem uh, an offer. So you go in, you click claim offer, and you're gonna get that cash back. Um, so that one is an offer of 18 cents off per gallon at a Spinx that's down the road. Uh, humorously, it is not down the road, really. It's across the river from where I live, but that's how so many apps work. They just think I live in a, a completely different area. Um, that gas station's like 35 minutes from me. Um, but it's going to show you what is there, and you can kind of zoom in and see what your options are and what that cash back looks like for those offers. If you decide that you're going to do it, then you click on the deal and you click claim. You take a picture of your receipt, and they give you back that, that was 18 cents a gallon for that Spinx or 20 cents a gallon for that Shell. Um, then you get that back in your account. When you have money saved up, you can redeem it for a gift card. So... Kind of fun, easy way to save on gas. And there are a few other apps. Checkout 51 just activated gas savings as well that's very similar. Um, but you should take advantage of at least one of them, possibly two, uh, and you know use the same receipt, kind of like we would with a, any other deal. So that's another question that I usually get and no one's asked yet is, what if I see Ragu on Ibotta and on Checkout 51? Upload their picture to both. Um, most of these apps have nothing to do with each other. Now I mentioned Checkout 51 and Savings Start Do, but nobody else does. So if I see an offer that is on Ibotta and it's on Savings Star, do it. Uh, take a picture of your receipt and upload it to both mobile apps and get that cash back. Uh, and you know, go to town, have a blast, uh, double dipping everywhere that you can. You should uh, definitely take advantage of all of the offers. So. Um, I, uh, we've kind of hit the bulk and not having a lot of questions in terms of from folks of, um, you know, how the apps work. So instead of going through what you may already know, um, uh, to jump into some other apps that you can have. And um, sorry, April, I just saw your question. Um, when uh, Thoughts on Winn-Dixie versus Publix. I would focus more on Publix if I were you. Winn-Dixie has the same buy one, get one deals, but Publix has a ton of store coupons. And so once we factor in those store coupons along with the buy one, get one deals, Publix ends up winning over Winn-Dixie. Um, definitely, if you have them both in the same area, I would I would just go Publix the whole time. Um, let's see, try to make sure I didn't miss, um, oh, uh, a lot of questions. Paige is saying, you know, I just started using GetUpside and I feel like for the most part, the window to redeem the offers is really small. I redeemed an offer and they told me I had four hours to redeem it and then told me I redeemed it at the long, wrong location. Um, oh, um, so for me, I've not ever had issues with it telling me I wasn't at the right store um, and that it was too late to submit the offer. Um, I would just contact them through their help. I did contact them one time for an offer that I felt like, wait a second, what just happened here mathematically that didn't add up right? Uh, and they responded to me within like maybe five hours. It was very quick in terms of a mobile app and help response. So I would go that route. And all I did honestly was just replied to the email that I got. Whenever you get an offer from GetUpside, you get an email that says you've earned cash. And I just replied straight to that email. I was like, ah, I don't know 
know what happened. They explained to me what happened. Um, you're not allowed with GetUpside to use uh, like Shell Fuel Rewards. If you're part of that program, you can't enter your phone number and get Shell Fuel Rewards. Or your GetUpside reward is reduced the same amount because they're really working with Shell. You can't. It's they don't want you to double dip. So all that they had done was removed the Shell discount from the bonus uh, cash that I was supposed to be getting. And it made sense once they explained it, but uh, I had just missed that part, and that was when I was first getting started with it. Um, and Karen's also mentioning, you know, I downloaded the Eggs on Mobile app, and I love it. Yeah, so every gas station out there has an app, guys. Uh, whether you're going to use GetUpside that's over a whole bunch of brands or you're going to use the specific store app, Shell Fuel Rewards has an app. Exxon Mobil has an app. BP just relaunched a new uh, rewards program. No matter where you're getting gas, you should be taking advantage of the rewards programs that are out there. And it may not feel like a lot, but three cents adds up. Five cents adds up when you're talking about 20 gallons of gas in my SUV out there. Uh, you know, that's still, you saved a buck. You, you know, you should do this. It's not just money to, to throw away all the time. Um, save the money, whenever they're offering you to save the money, save the money. Um, and then Joyce uh, asking, how do you redeem the fetch money? You are gonna redeem fetch money by getting it out in gift cards. Um, so any points that you've earned, get it out in gift cards. I use fetch as a fun way to pay for date night. Um, so 100% of the time, if we are going on a date, we're sitting in the car, grandma's watching the kids, thank you grandma, and instead of saying, where do you want to go to dinner? It's where can I get a gift card for dinner? Um, because we're not going to pay. That's our goal to use whatever we can and try to stretch that gift card. So I know that waitresses probably hate to see us coming. But yes, we do order water. Uh, we never order dessert. You know, the, the point's to get out. It's not to get out and eat like kings. It's just to have some time away. Whatever, whatever you eat, you'll make it work, but you'll get a gift card for it. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, let's see. I forgot to submit an offer for public for I bought it at Publix and I'm not digital. Can I use the receipt that they emailed me to redeem the offer if I don't have the receipt? So Paige, no. Um, so if you don't have a paper receipt, there is no way for them to take a digital receipt right now. Um, they would love to add it, but it's kind of been one of those every time I've asked them, I've gotten the same like this is on our to-do list, but it's not been moving up the to-do list. So there is not a way, Jessica was also saying that, um, to take a digital receipt right now. Um, okay, are there any stores that Fetch will not accept a receipt from? They will accept grocery, drugstore, big box stores. They will not accept, um, like if you went to the, if you went to a gas station and you bought groceries in the gas, they won't take gas station convenience store receipts, uh, and they don't want to take retail. They want it to be a grocery retailer. Uh, if you're trying to submit receipts, they will also not accept receipts for fast food or other types of stores like that, but anything else. So if you've got Walgreens, CVS, and it could be a receipt that is, you know, a week or so old, they're okay with that too. Um, so clean out your purse tonight and totally rack up on the fetch points with everything in your purse. Uh, and go crazy. Oh, except uh, Leanne saying that she found out recently that they did take a convenience store receipt, uh, not for gas, but for the other things. Well, that's good to know, Leanne. I tried probably two months ago. I don't buy a lot of convenience store items, uh, and it was rejected, but I will try again if we head in and grab convenience store items. So I'm glad I kept scrolling to catch that one. Um, uh, and do Kellogg's points expire? Yes, Christy, they do. So if you're using the rewards, the Kellogg's Family Rewards Program, they do. But you'll get an email that will say, um, you need to log into your account within the next 10 days. Your account is going inactive. Um, and honestly, it's once every six months. So I think you're going to be okay if you're earning the points and you're grabbing coupons with the points that you're earning from time to time you're not gonna go inactive. Um, the points themselves do not expire. They're gonna hang in your account as long as your account stays active. If your account goes inactive, then your points are gonna go away. So that's the real answer. I guess it's not that they expire, but that they could go away if you stop using the program. Um, and um, let's see. Trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody else's questions. Um, 
Does Fetch accept all the receipts? Page, yes, they will. Uh, just keep in mind that I'm not going to earn points on anything that isn't name brand uh, on an Aldi receipt. So you will earn overall points that are just kind of your points for uploading a grocery receipt, but you won't earn points for most of the house brand products that you grabbed, only the national brand products that you grab. And uh, I think we've covered this, but you should never grab national brand products at Aldi. They are not a good deal. Uh, every single national brand that is Aldi is cheaper in a grocery store. The fact that Aldi has it on a special buy, mm -mm, don't do it. Um, don't ever go there. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Deborah's saying she thinks with Kellogg's it's 90 days, so about three months with Kellogg's. I've gotten an email maybe twice in the last few years. I'm usually on there uh, every few weeks printing out something else. Um, oh, <laughs> Stephanie. Great question. Let's go there. So it's not necessarily a mobile app, guys, but Stephanie's asking specifically for what do I do if I'm trying to do um, like the Frozen Rewards Club at Publix. There are some others. We'll get those Fandango deals uh, where we buy specific items and we can get movie credit back. So if you are trying to do one of these offers, which is not a mobile app, but it's still great kind of reward rebate type offers and you should do them if you're grabbing these items. The tricky part is, is that they'll only, uh, this one in particular and a few others will only take one picture. So what do you do? Uh, what I would recommend is honestly, <laughs> take the pictures with your phone in multiple pictures uh, and then use a program like Canva, which is C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's free. And you can upload all those pictures and piece them into one long image. And like be a little graphic designer if you want, because then you know it got accepted. Option B, and I've seen a lot of folks do this as well, is that you do a panorama picture of your receipt if it'll fit. It's a little tricky uh, because if your receipt's super long, it won't fit, but a panorama may work as well uh, in getting that whole receipt into one picture for this type of offer. Um, this is at Publix specifically, by the way, or um, if you were using one of those Fandango offers that's only gonna take one picture, you have to get really creative. Uh, and the Publix ones are the ones that tend to hit us the most. Um, they've run some in the past that were off of like uh, snack foods and other things and we're all off trying to star the specific items and squeeze it all into one picture. You just have to get creative. Canva is probably the easiest way to go because it just walks you through, upload all the pictures and squish them all into one picture uh, in one image and upload that. Uh, and Miss J, someone was mentioning Kellogg's does have uh, an app. It is Kellogg's Store connect, I think is what Paige put in, um, in the comments. I have never used, um, the Kellogg's app maybe once. And then I've just always uploaded them on Kellogg's website or sent them via text message. Uh, and it's just so much easier to go. Um, and Paige is also recommending paint. So if you don't, you know, if you've got paint on your computer, um, I'm not a PC girl, so I don't have paint. Um, but if you have that, then you can do that as well. It's anywhere that I can scrunch those images into one file. That's the easiest way to go. And Canva will let you do that. It's free as well. So Canva is the go-to for the Mac girl with no paint. Miss um, J says, you didn't get the PNG this Sunday. That's so sad. It was a great PNG insert. It was in all areas. If it wasn't in your paper uh, and you subscribed to the paper, you could go call up the paper and say, hey, I was supposed to get an insert. And it wasn't in my paper. See what they'll do for you. If it was in a paper box, I'll warn you, most local papers, the first thing they're gonna say is, we only guarantee inserts for subscribers. It's kind of a bummer. Um, but, um, oh, and the, is Canva, uh, C-A-N-V-A dot com, uh, is the free photo editing site that I was mentioning. They have a paid version, but you won't need the paid version. Um, so just go with Canva. Um, yeah, and I would, I would just stick with Kellogg's online as well, Paige. Much, much easier. Okay, before we run out of time, I wanted to mention one whole other side of apps that we haven't gotten to. Uh, so I mentioned all the store apps. And let me pull this back up to at least full screen here since this is we're going so old school tonight. Uh, I mentioned all the store apps already, all the coupon apps. 
Um, but there's a whole other side, and that's the dining apps. Um, so I don't want to forget all of these as well. There's a ton of great mobile apps for eating out and for saving. The perk for a lot of these, when you first download them, you get something for free. So you should download them. You should take advantage of free food whenever they're going to offer it. But they also offer some fun free perks. Chick-fil-A, for example, guys, um, when you use Chick-fil-A, at any location, uh, a lot of times the mo the person who owns that location will give you extra perks. The depends on the location and uh, and that location's owner, but a number of them have um, mobile Mondays, meaning that you place an order on Monday using the mobile app, and they give you a treat in your account as soon as you place your order that you can use the next day. Um, you'll see all sorts of things that get placed in your app in terms of um, Chick-fil-A. So it's definitely one to grab. I've got two small cones sitting in mine right now. Um, but you earn points when you purchase items and then you can redeem your points for some fun, some fun freebies. That's Chick-fil-A, but uh, most of them work kind of the same way. Moe's, uh, you just, it, a lot of these are also based on just scanning a part of something, a little QR code um, when you are checking out. So you hit the earn, you scan the QR code, you earn points for each purchase. You might as well, guys. If they're going to give you something back on the purchase, you should take it. I mean, even CC's Pizza has an app. Um, so it doesn't matter where you're headed. It probably has an app. And in that, because of that, you are going to save some money to be using it. Um, so wherever you're regularly heading to, it doesn't hurt to have that restaurant's app. Um, some of these quickly can get removed too. Salsaritas is totally on my short list. It's nice to earn rewards. We eat there occasionally, but look at all of those notifications. Salsaritas, please, you know, leave us alone. Um, you're about to get removed. You're, you're like walking on thin ice there. But there are some fun ones to not miss out on. Fun perks for downloading them. Free donut if you've never downloaded the Krispy Kreme app and you set up an account. Very, for, very first time. Absolutely free donut, but you'll also find um, a number of offers that get loaded in as well. Um, so, you know, this one was an older one that's still in there, but a free Valentine's Day donut, it's going to pop in um, with other perks as they load them. Um, so, yeah, don't miss all of those as well. Uh, as we talk saving money, there's a mobile app for everywhere, uh, and they all want you to use them because it's letting them track you and see how you're using them, what you're purchasing from them, but they are definitely giving you a perk to use them. So uh, you should just keep everything in little pockets. It makes everything better, I promise, and then you're good to go. Um, and yes, uh, so uh, Kathy says some dining offers, birth, uh, they have birthday coupons that she just got her Dairy Queen free blizzard. So we have a, a huge roundup, and I'll try to find it for you or see if my husband can find it first of um it's like a master list of birthday freebies so that one's not even app related but make sure you're signed up for all of those if your birthday is coming up i need to double check uh coming into my birthday month here soon uh, but uh that is outside of the app but even inside of the app you can end up with um a number of other op op like offers uh, and great question, does GetUpside take Sam's Club? So no, I've never seen them pop in. With the GetUpside app, they only take specific stores. So when I zoomed out and I showed you that just a second ago, it's not, uh, there are not just two gas stations between me and the other side of town. Um, it's just the few that it's going to pop in. Uh, and here I zoomed out really far. Like those are all the stores in my city. So there's still a lot of options. Um, but they only take, in our area, it's usually Shell, BP, and Sphinx, uh, a couple Circle Ks. But I can't necessarily go everywhere. I have to pick one of those specific stations, which is still a lot of stations, zooming in to be able to get the cash back. I claim the offer, and then I get the gas at that location. Um, so just so you are kind of aware that it's not everywhere. Um Oh, and Wendy's chiming in. Ruby Tuesdays has lots of bogos and a free burger on your birthday. So yeah, there are, there are some fun offers when it comes to um, lots of uh, lots of places. 
Uh, Sonic, if you place your order through the app, all drinks. Yes, so Sonic runs happy hour all day long with anything that is, is ordered through the app, which is pretty sweet, not just in the evenings. There are definitely perks and paying through the app as well, um, perks as well. So one thing to mention there, guys, and I can't test this one, but I've had a couple of people mention it. Um, so since we're talking about paying through the app, Publix has Publix Pay that they have put in their app. I've been using it for the last few months because I love not having to get a credit card out. Um, but um, Publix and Publix Pay right now, they are offering folks who set up a new Publix Pay account, not a new Publix account, but a new Publix Pay account, which is in the bottom corner of the app. They're offering you a $5 off your next $25 purchase to set it up and use it for the first time. Even if you never want to use it again, that's still five bucks to set up Publix Pay. It's actually super easy. You open up Publix Pay. It'll do Face ID if you have a smarter phone. And then it's going to scan a barcode that is on the checkout screen. There'll be a little QR code down in the corner of the checkout screen. And once it scans that, it has paid. You're done. So I don't ever have to get a card out. I love that because um, I don't know about you, but I never put the card away. And then I'm digging through my purse looking. Yeah, it's just it, it's just better that I never have to touch them. Um, so hopefully you will see that in your account if you haven't set up Publix Pay. It's, I haven't posted it because I like to be able to test things and see that it's actually there. And I can't because I've already used it. So my app isn't mentioning it at all. Um, Oh yeah, so Faith, um, I mentioned the fetch one. Uh, my fetch code is N0REC. Uh, the other apps, Ibotta and whatnot, um, I I just have a link that you can go through for those apps. Um, I don't I don't even know what my codes would be. Um, Ibotta took away the ability for some of us that uh, I guess they felt we were referring to many people. We don't get to use our codes anymore. Um, so I don't have a code for you. For Ibotta, it's kind of stink. But um, the other ones, yes, if you go through the links um, that we've put in the comments earlier, and I'll try to pin them, then those are technically referral links. And that is very sweet of you to ask. Um, okay. I don't have a payment form. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Joy, yes. You don't have to pay with the Chick-fil-A app. You just scan it. So, uh, and then you can pay on your own. I use Chick-fil-A Pay when we're checking out um, just because that's how we set it up ages ago and it's easier for me. But you can just have the Chick-fil-A app out and have them scan your kind of QR code is really what pops up um, at the register and then you're going to earn points for that. But I don't have to have any funds in my, in my account to be able to use that. Just have them scan your QR code and earn the points that you want. And that's the case for all of these apps. You know, there is no Moe's pay, there's just earn rewards, have them scan that, and you're earning points every time. Uh, Smashburger, the same way. Uh, Smashburger just re-upped their account. So they're, you know, always having them uh, scan that. Anytime you see that little scanner next to the register, be like, ah, there's something I'm missing here. Let me go find the app so that I can get points for this visit uh, for sure. Okay. And then folks asking about shop kicks. Um, <laughs> I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I would put it back on my phone and I would test it, but then we haven't even been around. We went on vacation this past week, so I did not test it again. Shop kicks for me is one of those apps that will come on my phone and then get kicked off. It is not one that I have ever left on my phone longer than maybe three weeks um, because it ends up just driving me crazy and not working and killing my battery. Now, I know for some folks, they are diehard shop kickers though, and they will work their like route around town just to get some extra kicks by walking into a Carter's and checking in and getting those extra points. So if you love it, that's awesome. I'm not a hundred, I'm not opposed to it, but some of it isn't, um, it isn't an app that everyone is going to want to use because for me, I am not going to unbuckle a whole bunch of kids to go walking in just to check in to various stores. It's really meant for you to go in and shop those stores. And we tend to only shop one or two stores a week and go our happy way. So it just wasn't one that I found I was using a ton. There are a lot of people who love shop kicks though, and you can definitely add it to your routine uh, and 
earn a ton if you want. You're going to earn kicks, which are like points, and then redeem those for gift cards the same way we are with all of the other apps. And Shopkicks has actually been around the longest. Uh, their app, I would say maybe eight years ago, really would kill your battery massively, um, but they have been around longer than any of the other couponing mobile apps that are out there. Um, okay, so Miss J says, I don't really see deals on Ibotta for items that I buy. Is it because I don't use it a lot? Possibly. There are some deals that will be user specific, um, but there are a lot of deals that are just the same for everybody. So if you're not seeing regular deals that you purchase, Miss Jade, make sure you're at least noticing that there are a lot of any brand offers. So like any juice, any milk, definitely take advantage of those. Um, but you could also, you know, just kind of checking in from time to time. Ibotta also has a barcode scanner. So if you want to quickly, you know, glance over your cart and scan barcodes and make sure that you're not missing anything, you can go that route. I bought it with hundreds of offers. That barcode scanner is your friend. Uh, fully use it to make sure you're not missing anything too. You will see more offers the more you use Ibotta, uh, but I don't know that it's gonna magically make new brands pop in that you're not already seeing. Uh, it's really just them starting to realize maybe you know you wanna send them a note and say, hey, have you tried reaching out to some of these stores? We'd love to have some coupons for them. And that might get you something too if you were wanting some extra offers. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, and <laughs> Deborah said TJ Maxx is difficult to get my check-ins with shop kicks. Uh, I use it to walk in and then shut it off, um, and my location. So that was what was happening for me, Deborah. I would be in the back of stores, like as far back as you could get in and shop kicks would never even register that I was in the door. And that's kind of why I went a little crazy. Juanita is asking about Receipt Hog. Receipt Hog is almost identical to Fetch. However, they do not have offers as well. So you just get points for uploading your receipt. You can redeem those points for gift cards. Honestly, they are not as good as Fetch. The points that you'll get for your receipts with Fetch are higher. And to me, I'm not 100%. I don't actually love the whole third party, we're selling your data, that is our, our method of making money. Not 100% behind that. I'm kind of okay with Fetch because some of your bonuses are paid for by brands, but it's still not my favorite. Uh, and Receipt Hog is 100% we are selling your data. So kind of just backed off there and never went that route. I just used Fetch, Ibotta, and Checkout 51. You totally can. Um, for me, it became a, wow, I'm sitting here uploading receipts for like 20 minutes after I get home and that got kind of old. Um, so it was also just reducing time a little bit to take another thing off of my plate. So what's the best service to use for cash back these days? Uh, great question and you may not like my answer. I would recommend that you actually be a part of two or three programs and that you look to see who is running the highest cash back that day for that brand because brands are always running exclusive offers with this guy or that guy, and it does change. So for you, uh, Rakuten, or however you wanna say that, it used to be Ebates. That's always been my go-to for probably the last 15 years. Um, they're my number one. I will always check there first to see what their percentage is. Uh, Top Cashback is another good program, checking to see what their percentage is. And then um, you can go with others. Uh, I know Retail Me Not has thrown that in lately. Um, or using Ibotta if you want to go through Ibotta. That is one side of Ibotta that I have not used. Uh, and I don't, most of it's because I don't tend to shop on my phone. If I'm shopping on my phone, it's for something on Amazon and none of these people give very good cash back on Amazon. Um, but with cash back, uh, just kind of realizing that it is just, this isn't where I do most of my, let me come in here and let me shop online to be able to get cash back in those places. The other thing, you know, just to be open and honest with you that I don't use is I bought a pay. It's a little clunky in my book because you come in here, you tell them, uh, you know, you add a debit and a credit card. You Before you pay at the real re retailer, you enter your checkout amount. They charge your card. They give you a gift card code, and then you have to use the gift card code as you check out. Uh, that's just, it, it's too clunky for me. So I don't go there. I haven't done that. Um, 
ultimately what you're doing for them is that they are buying discounted gift cards. Uh, so you're paying them the $100 for your purchase in Home Depot. They're buying the gift card from Home Depot for like 92 bucks. So they just made eight bucks on the deal because uh, you paid them 100. They give you the gift card that you wanted. Uh, and in the end, you might get some cash back, but it isn't equal to what the gift card is. If you truly want to save at these places, guys, take advantage of gift card deals that are in grocery stores. Kroger running four times the fuel points. Uh, I buy Lowe's and Winn-Dixie's that are they'll run six and twelve times the fuel points on Mother's Day and Father's Day. Do that if you've got a large purchase to make in Lowe's or Home Depot, Walmart, Target. They all sell these gift cards. Earn the gas savings on them versus uh, letting Ibotta really give you a portion, but nowhere near what you would have earned just taking advantage of promotions that are around town on those gift cards. There are also discount sites that you can use for gift cards. Raise.com is my favorite. And Raise regularly runs like 7% off coupon codes. That's an additional 7% off of what the discount already is. So you can get some pretty good deals. And don't forget about gift cards that you can get in your warehouse club, Sam's, Costco. They, it's not everywhere, but they do offer a ton of gift cards at Sam's, especially online. Uh, when you order for restaurants around town, you can get you know $50 Longhorn gift card. No, sorry, not Longhorn, Logan's Roadhouse gift card for like $37, $37.50. That's a huge savings. Uh, and I'm not saying, I'm not trying to bash Ibotta on that, but just that the savings is much higher over whatever you might get through those apps. Definitely when that's how they are having you check out. Um, okay, so I've given you all the links um, in terms of the apps. If you wanna use our links, I wouldn't mind at all. Uh, that is our referral links. Once you sign up for these apps, you'll also get your referral links and you are welcome to share them with all of your friends and earn uh, as well. So I am always um, you know, thankful for any time that you wanna use our links. It's definitely a way to help too. So hopefully this helps guys. I'm sorry that I was a massive technology fail again. Um, next week, we are gonna talk saving on travel. Uh, I will be traveling actually. I go to a conference every year in San Diego, but I'm still gonna come live. It's 5.30 San Diego time, so it works for me. Still do our Q&A at the same time uh, next week, 8.30 for all, all of you on the East Coast next week. But we're gonna talk saving on travel uh, and hit all the highlights of how you can hopefully go on a pretty fun vacation. Our family just did, so to give you the highlights, we actually just all went on a trip to the Caribbean uh, for a week on a cruise. It's totally affordable for a family, and there's some pretty sweet deals, so I'll leave you with that one. Um, if you wanna go Royal Caribbean right now, is offering 60% off the second person, so for first person pays full fare, which is like 500 bucks for the first person, 60% off for the second person, and kids sale free. So you see while we're there, like you give me that kind of deal and for a family of five, we will take you up on that. Um, so uh, we're gonna talk that. We're gonna talk saving on travel and hopefully we're all gonna have a very fun, debt-free and, and frugal vacation this year after that one. So that'll be our topic next Monday night. Feel free to bring any other questions that you have too. Um, but I look forward to joining back in with you. And if your question, uh, it, it, I always get this one at the end of the, Q and A's. Yes, I will have CVS and Walgreens videos up in just a couple days. Probably I filmed them today. We just have to piece them together for you. Um, but there are some fun deals. I posted one earlier today, specifically money maker Sharpie markers in Walgreens. So if you head to southernsavers.com uh, slash Walgreens, you'll see that one, but you will pay $3 and 79 cents and you will walk out the door with $4 in rewards. That makes my Sharpie marking. I, I just, I love Sharpie markers makes my heart happy. So I will get the videos up though. Just give me another day or so. Give my husband another day or so to get them edited. So thanks for joining in tonight. I hope that you learned something new despite my technology fail and not being able to show you the phone. Uh, and I will jump back in next Monday night, saving on travel. You guys have a great week.